The ruling and opposition parties continue to lock horns over former President No Mu Hyun's alleged comments disavowing the sea border between the two Koreas and claims the nation's spy agency interfered in the last presidential election. 노무현 전 대통령의 NLL 포기 취지 발언과 국정원 대선 개입 의혹을 둘러싼 여야 공방이 격화되고 있습니다. Korea's financial markets are doing a better job than other emerging economies of weathering the storm created by comments from U.S. Fed head Ben Bernanke that the country is mulling cutting back its economic stimulus efforts. 베넨 기발 쇼크가 전 세계를 덮친 가운데 한국의 금융시장 성적표는 주요 신흥국과 비교하면 양호한 수준이라고 정부는 분석했습니다. Pyongyang berated the United States in a Rodong Shimun article yesterday, calling out Washington for increasing tensions on the Korean Peninsula and dubbing it the real culprit behind the nuclear crisis. 북한은 어제 노동신문을 통해 미국이 한반도 정세를 격화시키고 있다며 미국을 핵 위기로 몰고 온 진짜 범인이라고 비난했습니다. UNESCO did the North Korean city of Gaesong the honor of adding some of its historic sites to the World Heritage List at a meeting in the Cambodian capital yesterday. 어제 캄보디아에서 열린 세계 유산 위원회 회의에서 북한의 개성 역사 유적 지구의 세계 유산 등재가 확정됐습니다. Ministry of Food and Drug Safety data shows that Koreans are becoming more carnivorous, with meat consumption rising 22% over the past four years to an average of 43.7 kilos last year per person. 식품의약품안전처에 따르면 지난해 국민 1인당 고기 섭취량은 43.7kg으로 4년 전에 비해 22% 증가한 것으로 나타났습니다. The current parliamentary session appears to be going nowhere fast as the issues between the ruling Sainre Party and opposition Democratic Party have sidelined progress on issues such as economic democratization. Sainre has alleged that during former President No Mu Hyun's visit to North Korea in 2007, he had agreed with the North about the Northern Limit Line, the de facto sea border between the two countries, which North Korea refuses to accept. The Democratic Party, however, says it will only allow the issue to be opened if Senuri agrees to a probe over suspicions that it misused the National Intelligence Service in the last presidential race. Travelers to Oslo may find that accommodation, transportation and food expenses in the Norwegian capital can take a huge bite out of their vacation budgets. A popular travel website released a survey this month that names Oslo as the world's most expensive city for travel based on the average prices of an overnight stay, drinks, dinner and a taxi for two people. Honolulu, New York and Paris were also included in the list of cities where it is easy to rack up huge travel bills.